action. Uh, this should be great. Our main event is between two men who are seemingly unstoppable. Oh, oh, uh, even though Goldberg lost the Universal in. Championship, you know what I mean. We have just we have someone who's like who's mastered the art of the squash match, and then we have someone who just doesn't give a shit about your your well being. And I think if any wrestling fans watch this, they'll know who I'm talking about. So, first up is our United States Champion for Nitro, Goldberg. I will say this, though. In terms of WrestleMania, like I was talking about in the last uh, episode of EBCW, um, I think that this match between Goldberg and Brock, the one they had for the Universal title, was by far, to me, probably the best match they could have put on. And I say that because I don't think for a minute that I don't think for a minute like that the WrestleMania 20 match was good. I saw it on YouTube. It was I thought it was complete shit. I thought the other match was shit. The one they had for the the one they had in Survivor Series because it, it didn't even last long. I mean, I know Goldberg was apparently hurt, but I, I just I wish it could have been a better match. I mean, this match that they put on at WrestleMania was the best match they could have possibly put on. And no, I'm not going to bore you with a, any more bullshit. Come on. Run, you fuck. Why is he fucking running so slow? Come on, you cunt. Fuck you. And there's the bell, and here's the man from the Isle of Samoa. Samoa Joe, ready for all comers. Oh, you're right. And there's nothing like... What I want to... Oh, oh, no, I don't want that. I want the title belt. To get that blood flowing. Come on, and not preliminaries. But hey, by the sounds of it... This want to get the bell and beat him with his own belt. Tonight. That may be the first time we've seen that executed. Oh, not again. Shit, man. So yeah, my, my point my point I'm trying to make was this match was probably the best one they could have possibly put on. I don't believe for a second they could have done any better than what they did. Let me know if you think. Of, let me know what you think in the comment section though about that match. Like I thought the match was decent for what they did. It made sense for what was going on between them. Fuck that. Get the fuck away from me. I gotta get this fucking Kendo stick out of the way. Oh shit. So yeah, this is a Falls Count Anywhere match, which is why I came out uh, like guns blazing on his ass. Fuck off. Ow. No. Ow. Fuck you, Goldberg. Now, like I said, dare I say, Goldberg is a probably a better wrestler in the games than he is in real life. And I like Goldberg. I really do. I really do like Goldberg. But he's not the best uh, at the wrestling aspect of it. Although I did see him have a really good match with, um, what's his face? Like, it wasn't a good match, but it was a really hard-hitting match. I think that's what made it good. Uh, between Scott Steiner and him. Yeah, he had a match with Scott Steiner. I think it was Fall Brawl or something like that. Um, they had a they had a match. It was it was it was good. Goldberg ended up losing, which I had a feeling would happen. By the way, prepare for the spear through the barricade, which is something I don't think I've done. Get wrecked. Now you know what I mean when I say Go Samoa Joe just doesn't give a shit about your well-being. He will fuck you up like no one's business. Can I get a pin on him? Let me get this pin. See if I can get a pin on him. One, two, I expected that, in all honesty. I'm not shocked. I didn't want it to happen, but I'm not shocked it happened. How much damage did that Can I do? grab this belt? Beat your ass with your own belt again, mofo. And again he gets Ooh. Goldberg's bleeding. Goldberg is bleeding, folks. Ow. Oh, oh. And there's the 
What was that belly to back suplex by Samoa Joe there on Goldberg? Never have you seen Goldberg be victimized like you're seeing now. This is more than what Brock Lesnar did to him. Because Brock Lesnar kind of fucked him up pretty good too, even though he only put like, what, three moves on him? In total. Was that a... Was that a Death Valley Driver by Samoa Joe? I believe we just saw a Death Valley Driver. Alright, we got three German suplex variations here by Samoa Joe. Here's the straight jacket version. Oh, no, let's get that pin. He's done after this. One, two, three. I didn't think so. I didn't think so. He even heard Jerry Lawler said, I think this is it. I knew this was it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this match. It had a lot of big moments. He had me rambling on like I usually do during the match while I'm playing it. Talking about a few aspects. You had a run in, you had a spear through the barricade, you had a lot of. You actually had a Falls Count Anywhere match that lived up to its name, Falls Count Anywhere, instead of guys just fighting all over the ring and then somehow getting pinned in the ring, which is. You don't have to do that, so. You see that all the time in WWE, I think. But it doesn't matter. Samoa Joe wins the match, and I dare I say he's probably one step closer to being champion. He's not not being champion. One step closer to facing Goldberg for the championship. I mean, for Christ's sakes, he also beat him with his own fucking title. So, I, I if I was Goldberg, I'd be like, I'm gonna fuck this boy up. But anyway, that's besides the point. I'll see you guys on main event. Thank you for watching, and peace out.